Hello and welcome to another update video about Q&T. For Q&T, the primary count seems to be working out. We lost the um, support level here um, already a few videos ago, yeah, so last week or so. We lost the $112 level. That was the key level where I said if we drop below 112, then the blue count is most likely going to be invalidated. Um, in the last video, it hadn't been invalidated yet. Yeah, it was really, really just on the edge, on the cusp of being invalidated. Um, but the break below 112 was already a warning. And now it did invalidate it because the blue count allowed still for a 1-2 setup here. But as you can see with that latest low here that occurred today, um, yeah, actually today, it has been invalidated. So that's fine. That's um, according to the primary count. Um, which suggests another dip down here into the green support range. Um, we also, in addition to that, broke below the neckline now of this head and shoulders and the blue wave count has to be taken off the chart yeah, from here. So we take that off completely and now the yellow count is in control. Now saying the yellow count is in control, there are also a number of possibilities how this could have played out here or how this could be playing out. Um, at the moment, I'm counting the move up that occurred between June and October as a wave one, yeah, and then here an A wave down, impulsive, a B wave up, and now a C wave down. The C wave is extremely, extremely choppy. So it looks a bit like an ending diagonal. Um, not happy with the count as it is and it might lead to some changes here along the way um, but i'm watching that this could be an ending diagonal other options yes certainly there other options are um, that this was a w the move up uh, move up an x wave and we're coming down in a y wave and then this would have been um, again another w x and we come down in y do i think that's likely not so much because the move down that occurred here um, in October, between October and November, looks very impulsive. So I struggle to count it as a wave, a so-called wave W, but it's possible actually. Um, yeah, but this could be a W, this could be an X, this could be a Y, I might change it. I need to have some another look at the subdivisions here, but I think it should be possible to count it as a W, X, Y, and then the Y wave, um, W, X, Y, and then in the Y wave again, um, yeah, and this way it's getting difficult, maybe A, B, and now we come down and C. But they all would, you know, this is really just the academic side of it, um, where we say, okay, is it really, you know, do we need to understand every little single subwave, which might change in the end anyway. Um, Elliott Wave tells us the invalidation points and key targets. So at the moment, my view is that we are here in the, in the C wave, yeah, in the move down. And again, it could be a Y wave, but the target should be similar. Um, and overall, we broke the head and shoulders pattern, so it's sending us further down. Yeah? And against the last swing high, which was here at $119, the focus can be on lower. As long as we're holding that level, the focus can be on lower. So I'm going to lower down the relevant um, level yeah? and, and uh, basically invalidation point. Um, it's very choppy what's going on here, so I'm looking really at the option of it being an ending diagonal. Again, also there are different ways of counting it. If it's an ending diagonal, um, we deal with unreliable subwave structures. I'm currently counting this wave four here as a triangle, and we could be in the fifth wave down. And in the fifth wave, we're looking at an ABC because if it's an ending diagonal, you deal with ABC structures in the subwaves. So I'm looking at something like that, yeah? And then we could already be in the C wave, and the C wave could have unfolded as a wave one, here a wave two, and we're now coming down in a wave three of Oops, a wave three or five. Possible support along the way. We have support at certainly $100, critical support, absolutely. So that will be absolutely critical support. Um, and if we break below 100, we should head into the long-term support area here between 94 and 61 US dollars. Unfortunately, it's not super clear how this is unfolding because it really looks like a diagonal. Yeah? If in a classical ABC structure, the C wave should be impulsive. It should certainly be a five wave move impulsive, but um, you often get these ending diagonals. And in a, in a C wave, which is an ending diagonal, the C wave is very choppy. You can see that, yeah? A lot of chop, a lot of up and down. Um, and it is rather flat, yeah? Flat compared to the A wave. And we've got this situation here. 
And um, yeah, I mean, let's look at, um, what else can we do? We can do take a look at the length of the A wave. We compare that to the high of the B wave. And then one key level that sort of shows up is the 61.8 extension at around $80. Now that might be a level to watch on the way down. Um, another way of doing it is we take the fifth wave here and they are all very viable ways of calculating a target. We take the length of the A wave, we go to the high of the B and then you can see here the one to one ratio, which is the 100% extension takes us to $97. So I'm actually going to add something here yeah, because this could already be an early turnaround from here. Um, and below that, we've got the 1.618 extension at $83. Yeah, so that's pretty much in line with that $80 level we just looked at. So I'm going to add these two onto the chart. So we have, um, we have three levels now to watch in addition to what we already have on the chart here. Yeah. So yeah, I think the trend is further down. No evidence is has bottomed. And um, yeah, I mean, Q&T has shown some weakness for a while, but, um, but, 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 you know, as soon as it hits one of these levels, we need to watch for a reversal. Obviously, we need to be careful until we see some kind of a reaction. But um, let's see. So broke support, $100 would be, in my opinion, the next relevant target. Okay, that's my update about Q&T. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.